Welcome back, everybody. We got more sports on the channel. A little bit different kind of sports today. Men versus women. Yeah. We're looking forward to Samantha's response to this one, right? Why am I put on the spot? Because we're gonna, you're going to bring your feminist perspective. My feminist perspective. <laughs> now, Sam is definitely not a feminist, and she's much more open to the uh, traditional aspect of life, I would say, and uh, believes in f female empowerment, that's for sure, right? Yeah, of course, but I think, you know, sometimes it's taken a little bit too far. Yeah, and uh, it's good to have a balance between both, right? I think it's good to have empowerment for men and women. You know, guys got to have a place that they can go to for their sanctuary. And, uh, you know, women should, you know, be able to confide in each other and all that stuff as well. But I think it sometimes gets a little bit skewed. Yeah, I think the topic of equality as a whole is, is a whole other can of worms that, you know, I believe in, you know, equal opportunity for people, but I don't think that everybody's ever going to have a, it, there's not never going to be equality for all in all aspects of life. There's just different Equal opportunity, not equal outcome, exactly. as they say, right? Yes. Um, you know, you have an opportunity to earn in position. If you do a great job at it, then you should be rewarded as such, but it doesn't yep. necessarily mean if you, uh, you know are of a certain gender or race or whatever that you should be automatically entitled to that position. And so, uh, especially in 2023, right? Anyways, let's not get into it too heavy. Let's start the actual video first and check out what men versus women in sports is going to be about. I'm excited to check this one out and see if we have any eye opening clips here of men versus women. Yeah. And we got Candace Parker to start off with. So you ready to find out what she has to say? Yeah, let's do it. Do you know who she is? She's a basketball player, isn't she? WNBA. Yeah. Let's roll. In short, I'm saying pay these women. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she she's going to go elegant about it. You need to be paid because you command the same respect. The game is just as good. And then they... Motion! The guy ran a 50 yards. Get him. Oh! oh my God. Men always say how women's soccer sucks. Then come to the field and try with us. <laughs> Nutmeg. Jeez. 60 year old men versus pro women. Oh, God. Damn. Guys are 60? Like what? Oh, look at the touch. Beauty. Ooh, the start his hands. So let's see us Arthur Powell. He got away as you'd expect. He's gonna gobble up the lead early. It's a ball. Riley Day you saves off. United States though. America in front, Jamaica again third, or maybe even second place now. And a back straight from the US team. Fantastic to see her back at this did. It's the Polish quartet. And Melko here running on the Ooh, second leg for the Polish quartet. He's down. And in fourth place is Zoe Clark for Great Britain. So Melko comes over to the changeover. We'll have two lead. Polish women now on the two last two legs. To be run, crowned. Girl, run. Spicy Ursatic. Watch this. And it's man. Michael Cherry storming round that bend trying to close the Ooh. gap to Vox. Ooh. And look at the speed with which Cherry takes the Polish woman. She's grimacing and she's being reeled in here to get caught here. But can she hang on for a medal? Nah, no shot. The gold is going to go to Michael Cherry. And the Anderson Felix moves to 12 world titles. Really close on the line. I don't know. She would ragdoll him. That's wild. She went from having a huge lead to coming in like this. Massive. Reminds me of my track. I have a track video from like when I was in grade eight running track. They took a video of it and I gave my teammate literally like a 25 meter head start. Like in the relay, I ran third. But I don't know why we put anchor as third in our relay team, right? It, it was so weird. Like, and mm, yeah. So usually anchor goes last. Yeah, I know. That's why they call it an anchor. <laughs> yeah. Right. But they, I was the fastest on the team and they put me on put me third. I was running the 100 meter, the 200 meter, all that stuff, right? Anyways, I gave like a 25 meter head start 
like uh, from when I gave the baton to the guy and the guy's just like cruising along you know and then the, the other team caught him at the line like, like this much and I couldn't believe it I literally like just collapsed on the line I was like bro I couldn't have done anything more anyways that's what that reminded me of just seeing that closing gap of yeah. so fast between the male obviously and the female well she had a huge head start and then she came in I think it was fifth yeah, but that shows you the physical attribute difference. That's a big oh, for highlighter sure. they, right there, you right? You know, longer legs, exactly. like more power. Stronger, you know, yeah. more muscle mass. You know, women in general just carry more body fat, right? You know, from a, a genetic standpoint, we were designed so that women could carry babies and feed babies and all that stuff. Yeah. So that's why there's more body fat. And so, you know, from the genetic predisposition, that's what we're seeing in that regard, right? Yeah. Like you said, you just got a bigger human, they're probably going to be able to run faster, but it was wild to see how quickly that just dissipated. Yeah, that changed real quick. Anyways, we got uh, Dana here. Let's see, let's let's see what see. he's got to say. Let's see what Dana says. Really close on the line. Don't know. She would ragdoll him. First of all, have you ever Ooh. seen Floyd Mayweather is about this tall, okay? <laughs> And she would ragdoll him as soon as she put her hands on him. Under Rousey, who would ragdoll Floyd Mayweather. Nah, pal. Was destroyed by a five foot seven and a half, 134 pound woman this weekend. Serena Williams is not beating a single man. Not, there's not a guy in the country in the ATP top 100 that's not beating Serena soundly. Let's start with the elephant in the room. What do you think about that? Before we get elaborate any further, because I think we're getting in tennis now. Oh, what we're talking about? Serena Williams. We want to talk about that first, or we want to talk about Ron, R- Ronda Rousey? Well, Ronda Rousey, for me, I don't think there's any way she would beat Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely, Absolutely not. The, the best boxer in like the history. Well, not the best, but definitely One the top of. five, I would say, yeah. of all time. No, that's not happening. Um, Serena Williams. I mean, like obviously, she's like the best of women. I mean, to say that she wouldn't be the top 100 of men's. I would say the top 100, yeah, probably. But to say that she couldn't beat any man, I don't think is realistic. But to say that she couldn't compete with the top 100 of men's tennis, I'd say that's probably pretty accurate. Yeah, I think for sure, like, the skill set for tennis in particular, right? Like, it's not like it's just dependent on athleticism or something like that so like serena's trained and obviously become the best female tennis player of all time Mm -hmm. by far and so i think like you said if it was just a regular dude that she was playing against of course she would smoke him but any of the professional players top of the top no yeah in my opinion she would you know even probably say that she wouldn't compete i think i even remember her saying something along those lines that that she wouldn't compete against any of the top male players because there's a physical disparity. Well, yeah, I mean, think of the power behind their serve. Like we just yeah. obviously saw with the running, right? The, the track, how fat, much faster. Yeah. So, I mean, like there's obviously going to be a huge disparity to there. So just to, to put her against other pros at her level, of course, I don't think that she would even be able to keep up. But to just say in general, because she's a woman, she can't beat any guy. Like that's a little bit no. ridiculous to me. But I think there will be like, we'll get back into it, but I think, you know, there's a significant difference, right, of, you know, a great tennis player and, you know, top tier pros, you know, that she probably would have trouble with a vast array of people that have the skill set to play tennis oh, for sure. and play it well, even though she's the best at what she does. Right? Yeah. And I, th- anyways, I would say if you matched her being the absolute <clears throat> best with like the lower to mediocre men's tennis players, she could probably at least keep up. But anybody who's like considered to be like good, I would say no, no chance. Yeah. Even maybe mediocre. I might be questioning about that one. <laughs> Like, especially if you're talking to somebody that plays for a living. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Nah. <laughs> right. Why was it necessary? I think you're referring to the fact that I said she'd be about 700 right. in the world. Yeah. Right. What, what, what do you think, Charlie? You're a tennis guy. You yeah. like to play tennis. I, I see you on the tennis court. Right. What do you think that Serena Williams would be ranked if she played have, in the men's game? I have game? no idea. Well, you, if, if you had a guess. Well, she seemed pretty strong to me. I mean, Very strong. The greatest seven, female player but, ever. I, okay, we can't. Nobody can prove this. Here's what you Would wait. you like to apologize? Uh, no. Um, no. But I, 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 offer. I, the, yeah. the offer is this. Why don't you combine, just solve the problem? I'm sure the men would be all for this. The men and women play together. And then we don't have to guess. Oh my god. Could be nearer 20. 40 love. So you had to 
uscita per il rumore appena sentito. Is that Serena? I think we saw Serena. Ma servirà ancora una volta uscita. Roger. Roger that. That's good, because it's good the type, it counts. He has every right. This we know for sure. I think that's Serena. 14, 15. Yeah, that's the one I'm waiting for. Oh. Giving the ball away if you just cross willy nilly. Thanks. I think they're trying to make a point here. Yeah. Uh, that's, you know what? That's just. You can't return any serve. Unintended. Thanks. This end is a lob. There's that one down the middle. Shouldn't be that way. Oh, come on, John. No, I knew that was coming. It's a fault, though. Actually, it's funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. I and think this is a clip. Men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6-0 in five to six minutes, maybe ten minutes. Completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me and um, they... They get, they serve harder, they hit harder. It's just a different game. Mm -hmm. And I love to play women's tennis. And I, I don't want to be embarrassed. I would not do the tour. I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice. So Andy, stop it. Yeah. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you kill me. The enemy doesn't care. Well, Serena just summed it up for us. There we go, firsthand. <laughs> I mean, if she doesn't even think that she could really like, you know, take a, a pro then, a men's pro, then I think that's pretty, evidence itself yeah and i uh, you know to me that just shows her you know the fact that she's humble enough right to say that mm -hmm. you know when she is the best women's tennis player and destroys everybody or she did for a long time anyways and she's willing to say like you know you think out of all people that would be the ones to say yeah, I can compete with the men would be the best player. Yeah. Right. And she's, she's like, I don't even want to try. Yeah. But I think that shows, you know, she understands the game, yeah. right? She understands the, the, you know, physical differences and there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't discredit anything that she's doing. She's like I said, she's the goat of female women's yeah. tennis, right? And there's uh, separate sports. There's separate everything for a reason because you don't put everybody side by side competing. Yeah. Which is why I think there's such a problem right now with people's, you know, response to transgender participating in sports right yeah. with the opposite gender of their biological gender because right. as she just alluded to like it's not the same yeah exactly it's it's not a fair yeah. um you know it's not a fair competition yeah. and uh so but anyways i just you know i think that also the clips they, they played prior to that i think they were like i said trying to make a point mm -hmm. of the disparity between the ability of you know a serve coming at you when you're somebody that's a bit smaller and a little bit weaker you know you're not going to be able to handle that power the same yeah. way right yeah. there was a couple of times it literally was i mean a lot of them were you know unable to reach the serve but there were a couple that were like directly at them and they yeah. just you know they couldn't do anything and these are like professional players right yeah. these are professional pro pro professional pro, pros clearly <laughs> um but they're this is what they do for a living right yeah. anyway so let's get back into it gender you are hand 21 hand. come out here number 16 stuff number 16 step forward go and glove up he's the first female recruit to pick a man number 16 Nathaniel. Brace up. Fight! Diaz's instructions. Order. Fights to win. Stop! That's what you do, you fight. Brace up. Fight! Go, go, keep fighting until I say stop!
already. He did already. It's 43 seconds. not gonna end well. <laughs> Ooh, let Laura have the neck. No injuries. Oh. Oh, he's, gonna, he's gonna shake her off and then it's over. That changed real quick. Literally took on two of them <laughs> and beat them both. But you see the difference though? Like, you know, when he got into that one-on-one, -on -one, right? The girls knew. They were like... like oh, shit. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that's the response in an MMA fight? Like, it's the same thing as we... I mean, clearly Floyd's not an MMA fighter. But, you know, it's like everybody's all talk and everything until that yeah. happens. And then you get in there. It's like, sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, even like the hand-to-hand -hand combat of the girl and the guy who was just like, she yeah. looked like a rag doll. He was beating her up. Yeah, and well, that's what I mean, though. Like, she got what she asked for in that situation. She called up the dude, right? Yeah. And it's like, what? A, I, I can only picture myself. It's like in that position. If I got called out from by a girl in that military Someone who's like my size. situation, <laughs> I'm like, what do you expect me to do? Right. And it's a yeah. no win situation. Cause if I beat the shit out of you, not you, I'm not <laughs> saying, but if I do that, then I look like a douchebag, yeah. you know, for a lack of, even though she's word. the one who called him out. Right. Yeah. You know? And then it's like, it's a no win because if you don't go full on, then you are made fun of from the male side of things. Yeah. If you do go full on, then women are going to be like, I can't believe he did that. He's so abusive. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyways, we've got firefighters here. This should be an interesting one next. I hope they've taught you how to knock down doors. Definitely. In you go. Oh, no. Definitely. This is tough. As high as you can. You. As high as you can. As high as you can. Take a bigger run up. She's a hard lady. Come on, Jen. Remember the elbow. Big run as fast as you can. And high. 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 So close. As fast as you can. Sorry, Jane, yeah, you're not you rescuing me. me would have been there, that's tough for you. A man with no firefighter training has no trouble with the same task. Bit of an ouchie one. Be aiming higher, that's, that's it. it. He's got it. He's on the floor. Okay, brilliant. He's got the key. Come out. Yeah. Okay, bab. Brilliant. Well a woman can actually fail the physical component of the fireman test and still become a firewoman to meet female quotas. Fire women are paid exactly the same as fire men, who are more physically able and better suited to the job. I made this video to demonstrate that men and women... So, I mean, I was interested to see what happened at the last one because uh, it's something I've thought about before between, you know, the differences in different uh, career paths and how that can play out to the results of, you know, the career itself or yeah. the in that instance, like it was saying on the screen, what could happen to one of your loved ones in that situation? Yeah. And it's pretty eye opening, right? Like if it was me and I had a choice or, you know, if you asked me if I, well, you know, had the ability to choose what I prefer to have, obviously, an athletic male versus uh, a female in that particular cir cir circumstance, I would go with the athletic male because I feel like they would be able to protect my family a lot better better right <clears throat> and i don't want this to sound like i'm you know hating on women the whole way through because i basically have been in, in the physical standpoint but yeah i think the same is applicable on the other side of the equation for different aspects like i feel like my personal opinion not everybody's going to agree with this but my personal opinion is that women are more emotionally intelligent than men so like while men are probably more physically dominant like I, like I said women to me are more emotionally dominant and intellectual uh have the intellectual hierarchy there and i would also not want to leave my kid i don't have kids but if i did i wouldn't want to leave my kid with a man 
right? Like if I had to take, choose somebody to take care of my kid, I wouldn't trust a male as much as I would trust a female because, you know, men are more accustomed to, you know, be charged with a, a sexual criminal offense or something like that, right? So that's another reason why I would go with a female over a male. And that's because innately as human beings, we're wired differently, right? And yeah. we have different attributes to ourselves. So, uh, but that in respect to that outcome there, right? You know, there are other career paths that you could probably think of similarly that uh, may be influential in the physical mechanics of things. Um, yeah. And there are other jobs I think that women don't generally want to do and men do and vice versa, right? Um, you know, as like a somebody working in oil fields, for example, you know, hard manual labor. Hard no for me for that one. Exactly, right? In construction, I think 90% of uh, jobs held by um people in construction are men. So there are just jobs that are more, you know, particularly fitted, but you know, then it's like we get into this area where we say, oh, you know, everybody should have an equal opportunity, right? But if the outcome isn't the same, uh, you know, if you can't, like they said, perform the yeah, physical to pass testing. pass the test properly. Yeah. Or, you shouldn't be able to pass the test just because of a physical quota that they need to meet, but you actually didn't have the capacity to do it. Exactly. Or even change the testing parameters to allow more people to get in, right? Like yeah. That's what they do with a lot of other aspects, whether it's education or whatever. So, um, you know, I, I, I think this highlights the differences, but it doesn't need to be, you know, an, a complete negative, right? In that it just highlights clear as day that there are differences and yeah. that we just need to, you know, be aware of them, I think. Yeah. And I think that like, you know, even something as an example, right? Like, I don't think also it has to be too. I think if they were, if you want to have more diversity within the workplace and certain jobs, modifying, modif modifying the duties to correspond with the strengths and the weaknesses of those people. Right. So like, you know, mm -hmm. you can have female firefighters or female police officers or whatever, but like you said, maybe have their duties correspond more with the emotional intelligence side of things opposed to the physical side of things, especially if they're not hitting the testing and, and keeping up with the physical requirements required to do the duties that they're expected to do. Right. So, you know, if you have a unit of female police officers who are the ones dealing with maybe be like domestic issues or whatever with like a male partner or whatever else like that makes more sense to me than just being like everybody does the same things all the time right well i mean as one example i don't think there's any um women that have become navy seals yeah on the planet yeah. So, so that's like Probably a prime it's example. Literally crazy hard. Like. Yeah. But, and that, you know, like, like you said, it's crazy hard to complete it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's one aspect where like one of those jobs, like a Navy SEAL has to do military tasks that are really, really difficult, right. Physically and mentally. Um, <clears throat> but in the con in contrast, like you were saying in the police force, for example, you know, maybe in like a domestic situation where a female will feel more comfortable speaking to a female officer yeah, where they could provide that, say, yeah, you want to work on the police force. Yeah. We know, you know, you're going to probably connect better with these types of people or be able to do this job better than the men would because the emotional intelligence. Yeah. Or like so a we're situation put with you children, here. right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. So versus, you know, like I said, the Navy SEAL aspect or even a SWAT team. Right. Like a SWAT team is going to have to do high tactical, you know, physical uh, demanding situations where, you know, maybe that doesn't make sense to have that uh, have a, a woman working in that environment. Yeah. And it's I not mean, applicable to everybody as well. Right. They're going to be outliers. But I think we're talking about the general consensus here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think also too something to consider with some of those lines of work are that you have a, a weapon. Right. So, I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. when it does come down to like, as we saw in this hand to hand combat or something like that, that's a different ball game. But if it is simply like, you know, something where you're just like using weapons, I mean, one could argue that that's giving you an extra layer of force, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe like the different, the discrepancy of the difference there isn't as large, but something like a firefighter to me, like you need to be able to lift heavy things, break things down, like climb up things, like all of these things, right? So if you can't do that, like... Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, but who knows, even like, cause we're talking about physical aspects, right? And... I, I don't know the specifics on this. I'd be interested to know, but like for shooting, for example, right? I don't know if on average men are better shooters than women, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me because up until like 80 years ago, men were the only ones that were going Even to guns, war and, yeah. you know, being trained in that. And, you know, so I think well, based, from... but just let me finish based on what that, what I was saying is that 
there's probably an interest to do those things. So like there might be more male gun owners that like to shoot on their own and therefore they become better shooters and therefore they would be a better shooter in a situation where they're required to do that. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm just seeing on my thought, the wheels are turning, right? I think too, right? Like depending on obviously what your weapon is, but like the kickback on some of those guns is like if you're a small petite woman, like you're going to get blown across the room, right? Yeah. Like even when we went to the, the gun range that one time, the handgun, like that, I was like, I can't believe how powerful this thing is. Yeah. And I'm not like a small person. I'm, you know, pretty solid. So. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, there are definitely other, other aspects though on the other side of the equation where for me, I would just feel more comfortable with a woman in the environment, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a long list, like I said, that you could go through. And I'm not saying that it's got to be that way. But, you know, another one would be something like a caregiver, right? Like, you know, women are obviously notoriously known for being a mom, right? Like there's no, no, nobody like mom, right? Like your mother, like a motherly love, so to speak, right? And so from a caregiving aspect, for me, I would intuitively be like, who, like if you ask me, who do you want? It would be like that you know mom right there she you know like that she, she's perfect for, yeah, I for what like I need like but anyways we've been rambling for a long time let's wrap it up here hopefully you guys enjoyed our deep dive into conversation yes. gender um, equality yeah and um, for me like I said in the beginning and throughout I think that you know we are equals but in different ways yeah. you know we're it's human beings we're, the, we're equal but we offer we bring to the table different, different aspects. Yeah, different strengths and weaknesses, that and that's never going to change. And we are stronger when we come together, when we highlight those differences, rather than trying to negate them. I think that's the biggest point. Yep. So that's it from us today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed our video. Hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, notification bell as well. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.